everyone, this is Jonathan with Kiko Body Repair Products. Today we'd like to introduce you to our new Chris Killer lifter. What is this lifter? As you can see, it's two robots, two new feet, two new adapters, and it's a Chris Killer. The lifter is designed to work with our centipedes over this bad boys here, the new dead center seven millimeter faced centipedes. Why did we do this? What's the benefit of working with this new lifter? Well, follow along, we'll explain why and why this lifter is almost revolutionary. This lifter can pull up metal, what we only could do in the past with push tools or with stud welding. Are you interested? Well, follow along and see what we can do with this brand new tool. So let's have a look at the damage, the damage we've created here to see how this grease killer machine works. But of course, never forget your steps, the six C's of glue pulling. First, clean, check, choose the right uh, tools that you are going to use, choose the right tabs you're going to use, the lifter you're going to use, coat it with the right glue, correct the damage, knock it down, pull it up, whatever you need to do, and then continue by repairing it or in PDR, or if you're a body shop, or there is paint damage, continue, skim it, primer it, and paint it. So let's try and see where it will bring us. I'll show you the damage in a close-up before we start, during the pulling, and afterwards. So check it. So cleaning it first, we're going to use our 7mm dead center centipede. And now of course one very important thing is to exactly put that that center centipede, like the name of the centipede, you need to put it dead center, of course. If you're not dead center, you will destroy this dent. So let's choose our tool. The tool we're gonna demo you is, of course, our grease killer here. Um, I've mounted the feet so you can mount them both ways, the feet further apart or closer together. I've chosen now to be as close as possible to the centipede to make sure we'll remove that crease as high as possible. Uh, but you can move the feet the other way around and then bigger centipedes will be able to fit in between these. So just make sure you can slide it over, lower down those adapters. Okay. So as you can see, that centipede just fits right in between those feet. So let's see how we can lift it. This should normally be enough. This is already enough to lift that whole thing. Just use some alcohol and then it'll peel right off. So let me show you the, with the light again what we've done after just one pull, very gently. Brought up that thing, you see that? All I need to do is with a, a small tab here and another tab there, because it was longer than the centipede, take away that damage here and here. Maybe we should do that to repair this properly and show you the result. One of our flip tabs. The 
So all I need to do now is knock down that damage a little bit. What we've done is like in five minutes, we brought up that crease. In five minutes only. I'm knocking it down. I'm gonna show you the, the difference in repair and the finishing. But let's do an, another pull and see how high we can really lift it with that thin of a centipede. Like I told you, if you switch the feet around, you have more room in between the legs to adapt for the other, or make room for the other centipedes. So, check if your glue is warm enough. If not, give it some more time. Just slide over the lifter. If you can, if you squeeze the feet by turning them, you can adjust to any centipede, as you can see, Make sure the feet are close, as close as you want them to be, to, to have them push down the crown, push down the high spot, that you lift the center only. And make sure that you're even with the adapters from every side to the left or the right from the centipede. Like that. Because if you, e if you keep the feet evenly, you're creating a half a centimeter here and here away from it. If you want that, it's okay. But it is better for a double action pull to be as close as possible to the centipede. And check out how this thing will move. So if you're maxed out, turn the robots up to make sure you have all the stroke you need. I think I'm destroying this door, but I'm doing it to show you. Oh my God. I'm not the Hulk, but I'm not a weak guy either, and I can't rip it off. As you can see, I totally destroyed this door by pulling up a ridge that is almost a body line. There is no reason whatsoever to do that, but um, it is just to show you how strong this type of pulling really is. Let's do it again with the seven millimeter. Let's do the same pull. I'm going to rip it off as well. Yeah, so you can follow along so I can convince you of this double action dead center centipede pulls. Again, use the light to put the centipede exactly where he needs to be, dead center in the crease. Lower the adapters again. So, as you can see now, the, both of the feet are as narrow, the narrowest position possible with the feet, as close as you can be. Let's adjust the robots to the crease. So we are now as close as possible to the dead center centipede, only seven millimeters wide and the length of another centipede. Let's see how it moves now. I'm going to rip it off, but it's an overkill. We should repair it properly like I did the first time. But we need to show you how strong this type of boy is. So massage it up. 
if you are maxed out turn it and make sure the adapters have some tension on the centipede again again both hands Luckily this door is for the bin. So check it out. This is totally overkill. We, we created another body line in this door. So this was the one before we stopped in time. This was the one with the bigger centipede. And this is with the one, the dead center centipede, seven millimeters only. And if you are not careful with these new type of centipedes and lifters, you will destroy your door. You will destroy the stuff or the car you're working on. But to recreate creases, to get a crease out of metal, to pull onto a body line, ripping that line back in there, it is an unbelievable advantage. So what we did here is we smashed away the body line, hit it hard, body line is gone, everyday dent, takes a lot of time to push out, in a lot of occasions it's double underneath, so you can't reach it, body shops are spot welding these spots all the time. Let's check out what we can do with our crease killer. We might even need to call it a body line recreator. Because what we are doing today with that lifter is something that was only possible or with push tools or with stud welding. But as you could see today, with what we are doing here in metal, it's unbelievable the force that this thing has. Let's see with the bendable centipede what we can do on top of the line. I'm gluing it on the line now and we'll see how it behaves. And if we can recreate with one pull, recreate that body line let's see if we can do it or maybe with the bendable centipede lift out the damage first and then use the other that center centipede to recreate the line let's see maybe it's a two-stage pull but let's see what we can do this time i want to move the center first let's see if we can bring it up as close as we can be and move it slide it over the other side here okay Now if you would want to um, finish this as a GPR, glue pull repair, pull to paint, you could now skim it, sand it, 
A PDR tech would not be happy with it because he wants to repair it 100%. And we're just doing a test here because I smashed this line. Let's do an extra pull here to just bring up that line a little bit more because we have some detail left here, here and here that is not really up. It is up enough to finish it with paint, but we're not happy enough. So if you've done the first pull, we're literally two or three pulls into the repair, like 10 minutes. Let's do another pull with our dead center, seven millimeter centipede. And this, on the contrary with other other pulls that we do, this needs to be exactly on the line. And the reason is clear. We want to pull up the line and nothing else. Because these are crease killers or line creators. So you want to make sure that you put it dead center to where you want to be. Because if you're going to be a, a half an inch that way or even a few millimeters that way or this way, you're going to create a line next to the body line that already exists. So be aware because it is very strong. Let's see how this one performs and pull that line up a little bit more. I didn't turn the feet around this time, but we're going to solve it by just turning them and make them as close as possible. Adjust them. Pull them up as high as we can. Let's pull it up and see what we. Oh my God! Even on a on a line or on a body line on top of a body line, it even stands and stays, keeps his ground. I don't know if I need to convince you anymore, but this is crazy strong. I'm oh, sorry, but I can't rip it off. Come a little bit closer and look how it moves the metal. Ah, did it at last. So, after this testing, after the demoing here of our dead center 7mm centipede, you will have two examples into the set. You will have this one in the ice material, you have the exact same one in blue material, then you'll have um, our other range of centipedes, the 12.5mm ice, the blue one, and then also the two flexible ones as we showed before that you can if it's a deeper crease pull it up first with a bendable one and then finish it off with a dead center centipede but um, actually i'm happy to say but be careful what you do because you're going to destroy a door today we arrived happy to say at a level that we can overstretch and kill a door or any panel with glue pulling because the pulling that we are doing today with these type of lifters is pulling that is comparable to stud welding. We are ripping paint apart if you're not careful. So be careful, go easy, use glue pulling today with these strong lifters as you would use a push tool. Don't rip it off, go easy, lift it, take it off with alcohol, check it, re-glue it, do it in two or three times even to make sure that you don't over pull it because if you over pull it you're going to give yourself a knockdown session and it's going to be a good one today with all the pulling that we're doing so thanks everyone for watching to 
follow our tutorial on our new Crazy Killer lifter. Find out soon enough what these new tabs can do. Happy pulling. Be careful or you might destroy the panel that you're working on. And for any questions, if you want to see the new system, if you want to see the whole kit that we will have available soon on our website, kikotabs.com, shoot a message through internet, any way you like, through uh, Twitter, Facebook. You can follow us anywhere. If you have questions, just shoot them. We'll answer them as fast as we can. So thanks for watching and happy pulling.